Hello everybody, my name is Felix Balani and we will be the reporters for this video. With me are my classmates Riza Amodia, Jordan Amadora, Shai Hajina Sir, Divine Magdoto, Dale Soriano, and Ros Nivadarama. For my part, I'll be talking about the three phases of conflicts of loss. But first, let's discuss what is a foreign element. Now, this refers to a factual situation that cuts across territorial lines and is affected by diverse laws of two or more states. Without a foreign element, then of course there can be no conflict of laws. Now, moving forward to the three phases of conflict of laws, the first one would be jurisdiction. The first is jurisdiction over the person, person which is acquired by voluntary appearance or by service of someone's. Second is jurisdiction over property, acquired by, acquired by seizure or proper, of property under a legal process. And the third is jurisdiction over subject matter, applies when the law vests upon the tribunal the power to enter upon the inquiry. Now, if we were to move forward to the second phase of context of law, it would be the choice of law itself, which there are two um, approaches. The first one would be a single aspect method, which concentrates on one element of a situation in order to connect to a case to a particular legal community. Now, the second is a multi-aspect method, an approach where all important factors of the case, both territorial and non-territorial, are analyzed and the applicable law is eventually discerned. Which brings us to the third um, phase of context of laws, which would be the recognition and enforcement of foreign judgments. Now, a recognition of foreign judgment is a passive act of giving effect to a judgment of another forum without filing an action in the forum giving effect to the judgment. Now, this particular judgment in and of itself is enforced when a party is given affirmative relief to which the judgment entitles him and it necessarily requires, of course, the filing of an action. The doctrine of forum non-convenience, literally meaning the forum's inconvenience. This emerged in private international law to deter the practice of global forum shopping. Uh, it also, it means a court that has accepted a foreign-related case believes that a court in another jurisdiction is more convenient to adjudicate the case. So when can the doctrine of forum non-convenience be applied? It can be applied if neither the plaintiff nor the defendant nor the cause of action is related to the forum. So the action may not be heard. The following are the most important points of conduct. So first, the nationality of a person, his domicile, his residence, his place of sojourn or his origin. Second, the seat of legal or juridical person. Third, the side of a thing. Fourth, the place where an act has been done. Fifth, the place where the act is intended to come into effect. Six, the intention of the contracting parties as to the law. Seven, the place where juridical and administrative proceedings are instituted. Eight, is the flag of the ship, which in many cases is decisive of particularly all legal relationships. Characterization of conflict of laws or doctrine of qualification is the process of deciding whether or not the facts relate to the kind of question specified in a conflict rule. Its purpose is to enable the forum to select the law. The elements of characterization are foreign elements, points of contact, and proper law applicable. So what are the steps in characterization? Find out if there is a foreign element, classify it, and then apply the applicable law. So what are the solutions to the character problem of characterization? Next for resolution, next cause a solution, analytic jurisprudence and comparative law solution, and double characterization. Service of someone's in conflict of laws can be through personal service, substituted service, or by publication. In personal service, the someone should be handed to the defendant in person or by leaving the summons within the view and the presence of the defendant. Substituted service of summons is done by leaving the copy of summons at the defendant's residence received by a person suitable of age and discretion or at the defendant's office with some competent person in charge thereof. A summon by publication is good if the action is in rem or quasi in rem. It's not sufficient if the action is in persona.
The principle of effectiveness or effective judicial protection obliges member state courts to ensure that national remedies and procedural rules do not render claims based on European law impossible in practice or excessively difficult to enforce. The restriction of third-party access to the cartel court file also raises the problem of effective judicial protection of claims based on European law. Article 19, Section 1 states that member states shall provide remedies sufficient to ensure effective legal protection in the fields covered by union law. This, in turn, requires consideration of the right of access to a court as protected by Article 47 of the Charter of Fundamental Rights of the European Union as interpreted in the light of Article 6 of the European Convention of Human Rights and Fundamental Freedoms. One of the theories in the application of foreign law is the theory of comedy where it has two kinds. First, based on reciprocity. Here, if the laws and judgment of the forum are recognized in a foreign state, then the forum in turn will recognize the laws and judgment from that said foreign state. Second, based on persuasiveness and foreign judgment. So here, if the forum is persuaded that foreign judgment is meritorious, then the court will not hesitate to enforce that foreign judgment, even if the forum does not reciprocate.